Today I'm gonna to go over a video with four kids, two adults for the W4. Now this is a requested video. If you have questions or you want me to do a future video, just let me know in the comments, send me an email, let me know, love to do it. If this is your first time at our channel or you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button at the bottom. Go ahead, do it now. My name is Travis Sickle, Certified Financial Planner with Sickle Hunter Financial Advisors. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up the W-4 and we're gonna do the online version because this is the easiest version to do. So here we go. Okay, so this is gonna be two incomes. We're gonna have a dual income here with four kids. So let's go ahead and fill this out. So if we're going through this, this is married, filing jointly. No one else can claim you as a dependent. Click continue. And we're gonna change that first selection to two jobs. Now, on this example, I'm not gonna go over any 401k or IRA savings, although it will affect how much you need to withhold. So if that's the case, go ahead and select it. But in this case, I'm not gonna go over that piece. So we have here for three kids, we're gonna check off three dependents. And scroll right here to, scroll down to the child tax credit. Child tax credit's gonna be Three, we're gonna add a fourth, four kids, it's a big family. Click continue. Let's go back up to the top and make that a four as well. Four, four, it has to match up. And let's go ahead and enter in. For job earner number one, I'm gonna assume 65,000. And the second earner, I'm gonna assume 35,000. So one earner earns 30,000 than the other earner. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you, like I did in the other videos, two different variations. So we're in the middle of the year. So if we put in that we haven't, we don't have any bonuses, but this line item right here, enter the total federal income withheld year to date for 2018. So if you just started this job, you have to make that adjustment. If you've already withheld or you aren't withholding anything, because remember, the 65,000 and the 35,000 is assuming that we're gonna earn all of those dollars in 2018. So unless you started that job January 1st, you need to make that adjustment. So if you're earning, let's say easy math, 100,000 for the year, you start halfway through the year, that means you're only gonna earn $50,000 for the rest of 2018. So you need to make that adjustment. So let's go ahead and we're gonna put zero here and we're gonna put zero here and zero here, and zero here. So what this is saying is we haven't withheld anything and each paycheck we haven't withheld anything. And as far as this is concerned, it actually probably won't matter much if we put twice a month or once weekly, because I'm just going for the total amount that needs to be withheld so you can see and compare whether or not you withhold in the beginning of the year, throughout the year, it really doesn't matter. It's the same amount if you're earning the same amount for 2018. So let's go ahead and click continue. And then we're gonna take the standard deduction. If you have more than $24,000 of write-offs to itemize, then go ahead and itemize. But otherwise, just take the 24,000, click continue, and that is gonna give you your number, which is $742. That's really low. And the reason it's low is because you have four kids and two income earners. So there's that's gonna reduce it quite a bit. We have a big standard deduction change for 2018 and the four kids are gonna help it bring it down. So you can see here the allowances is eight and six. So job earner number one at 65,000 puts eight allowances. Job earner number two puts six allowances. Now let's say, I'm gonna go back and let's say that we've already withheld something year to date. It's gonna change that number, but what it's not gonna change, it's not gonna change that $742. That is going to be the same as long as your situation doesn't change. So let's go back to this page right here and say that we've withheld, um, say we withheld $3,000 here and we did 2,000. These are arbitrary numbers. Uh, it doesn't matter what we put here. And let's say we withheld $100 or last paycheck and whatever, uh, $50, doesn't matter. $50. Click continue, continue. And look at that, our allowance has changed. So job earner number one at 65,000 now has to put 13 allowances. Job earner number two puts six allowances. 
and you can see up here that it's still $742. The calculator even shows if you do not change your current withholdings, you will have $6,350 withheld for 2018, resulting in an overpayment of $5,608. Now, $5,608 is going to be the refund. That's a huge refund given the income level and given the, the family dynamics. So you want to make that adjustment if that's the case. But notice, again, that it's still $742. So it really depends on how much you withheld, how, many, how much you're going to itemize, how many family members you have, if there's any other things in your life that can adjust the tax liability. It's all going to affect it. But the online calculator gives you a really great estimate of how to adjust your withholdings. So if you go back to the paper version, you can transfer these numbers right to the paper version by just putting in line five the amount of allowances that are showing here. You can split them up as they have shown to make sure that you're, you're paying the right amount in taxes or withholding the right amount in taxes. But if you did the paper version, you're going to get a very different answer because it's not assuming that you've withheld anything year to date so far. So that's why the um, that's why we have the the IRS online calculator, which is a really great tool. Makes it much easier. If you make these adjustments, it's a great opportunity to withhold the right amount and save more towards your retirement. So if you want to put that to 401k or an IRA, you can get that money back earlier so you don't feel it in your paycheck. So you want to make sure that you're paying the least in taxes. What's also important to note as you're making these adjustments, if you do end up saving into your 401k or IRA, remember that's going to reduce your overall tax liability quite a bit because it's going to bring it down dollar for dollar. So if you're making $100,000, you put $10,000 into your 401k, really the IRS is only going to tax you on the $90,000. So they look at it and say, okay, you've only made $90,000, not $100,000. So it's another great way to reduce your taxes and save for the future, especially if you've withheld too much and you're getting a refund, adjust your W-4, save the difference. And again, if you're concerned about it or if you're uncertain about something in your particular situation, save it into cash, save it in the bank. You'll get a little bit of interest. And then if there's an issue, you can go ahead and take that money. You can pay your tax liability. But the W-4 doesn't change, doesn't change your taxes. It only estimates the withholdings. Now you have to withhold. You can't withhold nothing. You have to withhold the correct amount. So you also want to make sure that you're saving your paperwork and save the printout so you can figure out how you arrive that number if for whatever reason you get audited or are confused later on down the road. You want to go back to where that mistake may have been made. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave your comments down at the bottom.